Hey everybody, B Red here. It's been a while since I put a video up, so I thought I'd show you my uh, cheapo 2020 mowing season setup. So the truck is a 1986 uh, F350. It's got a 460 big block in it, three speed. You don't really need anything like this, but uh, I got this for $1,500. It was a uh, Antioch Shriner truck, so it was well kept. I redid the wood bed on it, so that didn't cost much either. And then for the trailer, I've got a 6x10 Sure Track. Uh, it's a pretty good trailer. It's got spring assist ramps, or A ramp. I think I paid $1,900 for this. That came with a spare tire. And then my mower is a, I'm not really sure what year it is, Detroit built Mustang. I actually got this for free. Now, I know not everybody's going to get a mower for free, but if you look around on Craigslist or ask family members, they usually know something or have an old mower. I got this one from a family friend. The uh, a lot of the safety switches were bad, so I just bypassed them and it's fine. It's got like 300 something hours on it. I did add this um, mower chute controller on this 50 inch deck since I do mow a um, set of apartments and, and a business where there's a parking lot. So you don't want to be shooting stuff on people's cars. So I just got an electric actuator made the made this plate here just welded it onto this bracket which is bolted onto the deck that way if you ever want to take it off you know there's no problem just got a switch up here on the handle and then it's just wired straight to the battery now this is a this is an okay mower it's got a, a Kohler 22 horse motor on it I've had it for two years now I think this will be the second year full year so it's change the oil and all that good stuff so if you look around you can definitely get a, a cheaper mower so uh, let me show you all the smaller stuff then okay for the smaller stuff um, I have a five gallon just right metal gas can um, I definitely like these better than the plastic ones I don't bring that with me when I'm mowing I usually fill up at the gas station or with the big can before I leave. And then I've got a one and a quarter gallon tank, gas can, and that's just regular fuel that I usually take with me, you know, just in case I run low. And then I have a one gallon two stroke can. I uh, just run the steel oil. And then for the trimmer, I've got. Uh, Nobody likes these, but uh, I do. It's a weed eater, feather light, 15 inch cut, it's only 20 cc. You can only put the 065 line in it, which is fine with me, because as long as you trim every week, you know, you're not bushwhacking with the thing. Uh, I don't, I guess they still make these, I'm not really sure. If they do, it comes with uh, a head that has two lines. And I don't like that. I just like the single line coming out of there. You can usually find these out by the road because they never run. But the parts are really cheap for them. I've got a couple of these. Um, if you did want to get a cheap weed eater, you can get them for like 79 bucks, I think. About the cheapest ones I've seen. Or, like I said, get on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And then for a blower... I've got a steel BG55, which I don't believe they have. I don't believe they make this exact model anymore. I think they got like a 50 and a 56. Now the date's on here somewhere. Uh, yeah, right there. Looks like we got 614 a 13. So this blower is what seven years old almost, and uh, never had any issues with it. So you can probably pick up, I think you can pick one of these up 
I'll have to look online. I'll look online here in a minute. And then the other thing, always I always wear my earmuffs. No matter what I'm doing, either the weed eater, the blower, or the mower. These are 3M. I got these on Amazon. I think they're like the highest rated decibel rating. So if I can find them again, I'll put a link in the uh, description for you. So um, now I'll go inside and show you my past mowing setups. Okay, this was uh, the first mower that I really started uh, using when I was first mowing lawns. Now, you gotta remember, I'm only mowing like three or four yards a year, you know, every week. So it's definitely not anything hardcore, but you could definitely add some more mowing jobs. So this, I got this for free also from a uh, church parishioner. It's a uh, John Deere, I don't know what year it is, 80s, 90s. Had a Kawasaki engine on it. And uh, I used that for a few years. And then I sold it for 30 bucks to a uh, family friend. And then just recently they moved and they gave me the mower back and I sold it again for 30 bucks. So you can't complain about that too much. And then, uh, let's see. The next mower I had was, um, I actually bought it brand new right there. The WG32A commercial walk behind it. It was a belt drive commercial mower straight from John Deere. They had 0% uh, at the time. So I just went ahead and did it. I think this mower is like three or 3500 I'm not really sure. Uh, so I had it for two years. And then sold it, pretty much made my money back, you know, that I minus the profits. And then here's my current push mower that I have. It's a John Sered 21 inch mower. I got it Menards. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but there's the price for it now. Um, and then after the John Deere mower, the walk behind, sold that, and then got this Skag uh, 36 inch zero turn. It had a Kawasaki also. I picked this because it did have the Kawasaki. Those are good motors. Um, I sold this also when I got, let's see, that was my next mower. Oops. This Craftsman, that's the only picture I have of it. I bought this for a hundred bucks. The steering gear was stripped out. Uh, you couldn't get the gear anymore, so I just welded it back up and then filed the, filed the welding down so it had teeth again. So I mowed with that for quite a while. I got my money back on that. You know, a few mows and I had my money back. And I sold it for eighty bucks. And then I purchased this Cub Cadet mower. It was a 42 inch hydrostat. I liked it because it was a hydrostat. This uh, Craftsman, you know, you had to pick what gear you wanted and that was it. So that Cub Cadet, I think it had a Kohler engine. I can't remember. 42 inch. I don't know how many hours I had. It worked good. Bought that for $250. And then I uh, got rid of that when I got my current zero turn mower that you see I had this little mower for like three days I bought it it was like 500 bucks I shouldn't have bought it I bought it used uh, the thing's a piece of junk I would never buy one so I used mowed with it once made my forty dollars and then sold it for like uh, almost 600 bucks so I made a little bit of money on it that was my first truck that I used when I was doing mowing. It was a uh, 94 Toyota pickup. Had 22 RE. 5 speed, 4 wheel drive. It was a good truck. I uh, sold it probably 3 years ago when I bought the F350. You can see there in the background. So I sold that. And the guy still drives it. He drives by the house. He stops there once in a while. This was my first trailer. It was a 4x6. Mm, it probably came from Tractor Supply. Didn't have any ramps, so I used uh, wood ramps all the time. And I had a winch plate right up here on the front. Uh, you can kind of see it there. Right there. So I used that for quite a while until 
the craftsman would fit on it, but then my zero turn would not. So when I sold that, I got that dump trailer from the previous shot. And then I sold that dump trailer and got my current 6x10. But uh, here's the blower that you can get from steel, $139.95. That's the cheapest blower. And I guess if you wanted a weed eater, there's $139. Okay, so I'm back here at the shed uh, under the lean-to where I keep all my stuff. So this is my backup mower. I did mow with this uh, a little bit in between uh, that Cub Cadet and the Zero Turn. It's a, uh, I think it's an 85 John Deere 318. It's got wheel weights, ag tires, 46 inch deck I believe. Um, there's the backup trailer in case something happens to my other trailer. Um, also with this 318. Um, I actually got that for free also. Uh, I got pretty lucky to get that one for free. Um, and then I bought another one from the same person that came with this uh, 54 inch blade. So I kept the blade. I bought it for 1500 Bought the blade, or kept the blade I meant, sold the mower for a uh, thousand bucks. So I kind of paid $500 for that, which whatever. I got the wheel weights also. And then just recently, I picked up this um, snow blower. I think these are 46 inch, I can't remember. Just a single stage deal. Um, you know, it's got a hydraulic up and down. And then the PTO from the front drives the auger. Same with that blade, that's four way. So it's hydraulic left and right and up and down. So that's kind of my backup stuff. Um, I do have this blower, walk behind blower, I got for 50 bucks. Um, you know, there's kind of a theme here. Everything's cheap because I'm cheap. And uh, if it gets the job done, it works. And then there's my log splitter, which uh, I'll probably make a video on that soon. Probably this fall, maybe. Because I do um, sell firewood in the fall. Um, you can kind of see it there. I'll zoom in on it. I got quite a bit ready. So there's one, two, three, four, five, seven stacks there. And then back there, there's like four bigger stacks. Last year, I sold 12. I sell a third of a quart at a time. So I sold like 12, 12 stacks that big. Now also just picked up this farm all cub. And you know, I don't have a mower with it or anything. But I've got this plow. If it ever snows next year, you know, I can, the few places that I do mow, they do have parking lots. So I might be able to, uh, you know, do a little plowing or something. So I just thought I'd uh, show you all these different stuff that I have you know everything's cheap trucks cheap mowers cheap the trailer obviously isn't that cheap you know if you're just starting out you can definitely get a cheaper trailer but I use that trailer quite a bit for you know moving wood and all that stuff this farm all cub fits on there I think it's rated to tow like 2100 pounds or something so you know if you're looking for cheap mowing setup you know, to make a little money on the side, it's definitely possible. Just, uh, you know, keep your eye open on Craigslist and all that. So, uh, thanks for watching. You don't need, uh, you know, expensive stuff to mow grass. It's just grass. Thanks for watching. Uh, you know, hopefully I'll start posting up some more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.